A common question that often arises when we delve into the story of creation is, why did God plant the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the garden, if he didn't want Adam and Eve to eat from it? This question may seem straightforward, as it's reasonable to think that God didn't want something to happen. He could have simply removed the temptation, ensuring that his children wouldn't make any mistakes. However, this issue requires us to delve deeper and ask some essential questions. First and foremost, we must consider whether the tree itself is inherently evil. According to the Genesis account, God creates everything as good, so it's implausible for the tree to be intrinsically evil. Instead, the tree symbolizes something greater, a choice that humanity must make. The tree represents humanity's choice to reject God and attempt to gain knowledge apart from Him, who is the source of truth and life. We can see this concept manifest in Genesis 3 when Eve, the mother of all humanity, is deceived into believing that going against God's command might be a desirable option. The story isn't merely about trees, gardens, and the consumption of fruit. It's about the profound choice of embracing worldly knowledge over divine wisdom and God's enlightening grace. Now some may wonder why God offered this choice in the first place. The answer lies in our understanding of God's love. When we say that God is love, we mean it. Love can only be genuinely given and received when it is done so freely. Freedom necessitates the ability to choose to embrace or reject God, the ultimate source of love and life. Thus, God planted the tree of knowledge of good and evil and commanded humanity to refrain from eating its fruit to grant them the gift of choice. Through this choice, Adam and Eve could either obey God and receive life and knowledge from Him, or they could disobey and become the source of these things themselves. This concept is well explained by St. Gregory the theologian in his Easter oration, where he emphasizes that the tree was given to humanity as a material for their free will to act upon. It represented the commandment regarding which plants they could consume and which they should avoid. Notably, it wasn't forbidden because God was unwilling to grant it to us, nor was it inherently evil. Even if they had eventually been allowed to partake in it, they had obeyed God's command. The tree represented contemplation that was safe for those mature in their faith, but not suitable for those who were still inexperienced and inclined toward worldly desires. In conclusion, the tree of knowledge of good and evil is not a relic of ancient history. Instead, it symbolizes the choices we make in our lives today. Will we choose God's truth and life or opt for fallen and worldly wisdom that distances us from Him? Always remember to know your faith, live your faith, and share your faith with others. To God be the glory now and forever.